What's going on guys? It's your boy Terror by Reacts here and we are back with another episode of Vikings and it's season one episode five I think we're doing today and this series is it, it, I mean right now we're at the edge of I want to see what Ragnar is about to do because the Earl just sent him just sent some guys to kill him you know after they went on the second voyage to the west so i want to see what's what's the plan is going to be as he i'm pretty sure he's going to take action against the earl so i am dying to see what happens so this is not going to be a long introduction it's been a long time coming we took a week break um last week so we're going to jump into this and we're going to see what happens. What's going on with Ragnar? Lagertha. Oh, Lagertha. As some people like to point out that I'm pronouncing these names wrong. I, I don't know if I'm really, I don't know if I'm really doing it wrong. But, hey, I don't know if it's Lagertha or Lagertha. I, I don't know. Um, from the way how I pronounce those words in the English language sometimes is I don't know if it's Legerta. Is it Legerta? Um or is it Legertha? Um But hey, it is what it is. Um I'm gonna try my best to pronounce these names right. We got um Rolo, um really, really one of those characters that you're like, you don't know what he's going to do. At this point, he really surprised me in the last episode by not going over to the dark side. You know what I mean? Like going to the Earl side that really surprised me because I thought he was really going to roll just to get you know with the Earl's daughter which is she's beautiful in her own right but I don't think that's any reason to betray you know somebody who you call your brother or if you're a brother by blood you know that's not something that you should do I would have hated him even more and now he's you know um I, don't, I mean, he he and Lagertha has some sort of I history. Um, I, I guess it's going to be revealed later. They have a romantic history somehow, but we're going to see later. Um, she's trying to break off from it, but he's still caught up with it. Um, so let's see what happens. Okay, so I'll see you guys for the review. Remember, link is down in the description. Full reaction. I'm gonna try to put up highlights of the Viking episodes too. Just like how I started to do with the Walking Dead reactions, I'm going to try to do highlights with the Vikings one too. If you want to see the full reaction, if you want to see highlights, you can have that option, okay? So thank you guys for watching as always. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts. I will see you guys for the review. All right, so I just finished watching Vikings episode five of season one. Uh, it was a great one. It was a good one. Um, um, so we have, they attacked Ragnar's family, which is, well, the Earl is, is, is one of those characters that you want to see die early, but you know they're not going to die early. They're going to be in the series for a long time. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm still hoping that, um, I think it's going to be a battle, not a fight to the death. I think it's just going to be a battle of, you know, and he's going to yield um, or something of the sort. But I don't I don't know how Vikings battles take place. Like, I don't know what the rules are. So I don't know if it's if it's actually going to be a fight to the death. Um, I think it should be. That's what I want, you know, because I'm my money is always going to be on Ragnar. In a, in, in a battle right now. You know what I'm saying? Um, feel sorry for Rolo that Rolo has to go through that for his brother. He's going through a lot because of what he because of what he did. So he's definitely on my good side um, going forward. He's one of those characters that you really have to, you be like, damn. At first, I, don't, I didn't like you because he's, he's really like, when he's, when he was, when they went to the West, the way how he attacked, it's just, he's vicious. 
and he kills everything. You know what I mean? So that's why it's like no mercy. He's a no mercy kind of guy. But when he comes on to fat, like, I don't understand, like, is he, does he want Siggy or the, do you want Ligurtha? Who do you want? Are you just a player around these parts? What is it? You know what I'm saying? But uh, it was crazy how Floki, um, they had to find Floki, um, the way out of family escaped and stuff. Um, that was pretty cool to see that they had an escape just in case stuff like this went down. I think it was kind of like, um, for the sake of plot, um, for the sake of plot, why the guys didn't look over the damn cliff. I'm like, why wouldn't you look over the cliff to see where he landed or anything? Like, then you go back and be like, um, is he dead? Just like, I don't know if he's dead. Um, he fell over a cliff. We didn't look. Yeah. <laughs> you know, um, cause if they had looked over, they would have saw everything that happened. They would have saw the fact that the family is still alive. They could have reported that and the family took them, took him into the boat. They could have seen all that, but they didn't see none of that. They didn't look over the cliff because uh, I mean, basically in their head, they're like, there's no way he could survive a fall like that. No, cause it's not water, <laughs> you know? So that was for the sake of plot. Um, I, I didn't like that they didn't do that, but it is what it is. Story continued. Um, so we got help from Floki, of course, and the dialogue in this in this show is, is very good. I like it. I like the interaction, the talk, the talking about um, learning a lot more about, you know, Norse mythology and... Um, um, and even, you know, the, the little Christian stuff that they put in there, you know what I mean? Like the guy quoting e Ecclesiastes, um, the priest quoting Ecclesiastes, um, in that, um, in that episode was pretty cool. A time to kill all that, all, all that stuff. Um, so that was pretty cool. So we have, um, certain things that are happening right now that I'm looking forward to. The fight is, he challenged the Earl. Um, through, um, what's his name? Theerson? Theerson? I, I, I don't remember. Whatever his name is. But it was pretty cool. The old man is, um, he gave away his daughter to this old man to, you know, gain more power, I guess, in some, in some aspects, which I don't think, I don't think this is going to help him in any way. It was kind of gross. And I hate, I, I, the thing about it is that some arranged marriages work out. It's not a lot of them that do. You get what I'm saying? Like I don't believe in in arranged marriage. I think everybody should choose who they who they love, who they get married to, um, to have that choice. I don't think arranged marriages really work out to be a quote unquote good thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, um, I know a, arranged marriages are for you know joining families back in the day, whatever the situation is now, it is still something that happens today in certain countries, but it is not as widely, widely accepted as it is, as it was back in those days. It was like everywhere. Everybody was doing this to gain more power, to join families so they can have more power over other people and all of this other stuff. So that was crazy. As I said, the old man, it's just the way how they portrayed it made him look really gross and it is not a bad looking guy. You know what I'm saying? Like if, if you probably look up pictures of the guy as an actor, you'll probably see that he's not a bad looking guy. Like they just made him seem terrible. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it's just the way it is sometimes, you know, it's just like how in, in Game of Thrones, um, you have, um, before Lord Frey died, you know, he had daughters, you know what I'm saying? He had daughters and they made all of the, they made it seem like all of them were ugly and they weren't, you know what I'm saying? Like they weren't like if you spruce them up a bit, put some good clothes on them, you know, you know, um, put a hair in a bun or something, you know what I'm saying? Like they don't, they're not bad looking They're They were all beautiful girls. But they, the way how they were in that scene where they, they're looking down, they had hunched up shoulders, you know what I'm saying? Tense situation and stuff just make them look bad. So, 
that's how it is. But um, in, in shows, they just they feel like they need to do that, so that's what it is. They they wanted to make the whole man feel look gross, and you know what I'm saying, like not um, deserving. Not deserving of his daughter, but it it's going to happen because it's an arranged marriage, right? So I was happy to see that. This was a great episode. Can't wait to watch the next one. Hopefully the next one can be out by tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching as always. Um, just remember, you are Terror Squad. I am Turbite Rax. Remember to like and comment on this video. I will see you guys for the next one. Peace.